it's Rob and welcome to Axel's Garage. We are out here trying to beat the sunset with Oscar. It's the 87, it's an R1500 C10. But it's our old original project vehicle that we really didn't need, but we had to have. We even got a... The kids broke down my wife's fall decorations on the front porch and now the fall decorations are the decorations for the back of Oscar. Looking pretty neat except we got uh, an old fender and a grill and stuff that we need to dump and it's becoming a pain in the ass but it looks neat. Anyway, the more we use Oscar the more stuff seems to be breaking because Oscar sat for five to ten years and I was hoping that the more we used it the more things would start working it's the opposite. So we got a slow leak in a tire and we got a heater that's only blowing on high. And I'll show you what that sounds like. And you know what that is, that's the resistor. And it's the, uh, and we've done videos in other vehicles doing a blow motor resistor, it's pretty much the same thing. It is a re little resistor that will um, break it out of the bubble wrap here. It is a resistor that will resist the, uh, it'll knock the voltage out. It's gonna resist the voltage. No, I, I don't know how it works. Anyway, the voltage goes through these springy thingies and it, it lessens voltage going to the blow motor to give you a low, medium, and on high, it's full voltage. That's why it works on high when these things go bad. This one is not under the dash like on a lot of vehicles. This one and these older trucks is in the engine compartment, so it'll be pretty easy. So, I'm only gonna need a couple tools, but jumping inside, We'll give you a little. We'll give you a little sound of what the blow motor sounds like if you want to come in close with the camera, Robbie. So here I'm on off. I hit one. I hit two, and I hit three, and now you hear it really blowing. So it's got a little bit on one and two but it's really, really almost to nothing. So it's really not working. We're gonna put this in and that will solve our problem. Usually they go and they do go out completely. And last week it didn't work on the first indent at all. And on the second indent it blew a little bit. Now it's working on the first indent or detent I should say. And uh, it's working on the middle one too, which it's just not working correctly. Probably because it's just resisting too much or something. I don't know how that resistor thing really works. So, usually you would use a nut driver, but this is an 87. And an 87, I'm just trying to pry the harness off because it's pretty crusty in there try to get it off nice and neat without breaking anything and you can see how rusty our connections are right and here is the two is just two little little tiny bolts with screws that you will put on there they're metric because it's an 87 usually I would just grab a quarter inch nut driver and be done with it but of course they got to be metric because in these mid to late 80s GM vehicles, seven millimeter. They have a mix of metric and standard. Get these little, I like little sheet metal screws. And you might not need to get the back the bottom one out completely. You can lift it up because it's got a slot. slot in it, but I can't seem to get this one out without taking it all the way out. So I'm gonna take it all the way out. Right, and there's our old one. Just snug it up, doesn't need to be super tight. And what I am going to do is put a little dielectric grease on those contacts to hopefully prevent corrosion. Put 
those similar to like prongs on an outlet? Um, yeah, similar, but different. It's just making the electrical connection. You got your, this wire is the power to the motor, and those are your power coming in from the switch, depending on where the power is coming in is whether it blows it on low, medium, or high. So that's it under the hood. This was a uh, RU, Robert Union 64 standard was the brand that I chose because that was the uh, easiest one to get. And now when you put your ignition on, yeah, we got a nice low now. And we got a decent medium. And we got a real nice high. Wow, the high's even better. All right. And there we have it, mission accomplished. I could have some decent heat again. And we will leave it at that today. Real quick video, we got it in before sunset. I'll link everything we use in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.